Welcome to The Art of Mark's Trains, Part 21. And by coincidence, we are looking at the Mark's uh, Santa Fe locomotive, number 21. So this is a set box, bottom only. I don't have the top. And uh, the 21 came out in 1950. And uh, they produced it through 1954. And you can see it has die cast side frames unlike the uh, plastic 1095 which has uh, plastic side frames and uh, see the motors very similar gear comes all the way down to the bottom of the flange one piece pickup it's got a reverse unit in there it's got a headlight up front and uh, Lithography is quite nice. A nice bright red with uh, silver and yellow and black stripe. The ladders are printed on, but there is some, some detail in the vents and the portholes there. Made by Marks on the back, uh, 21 on the front. Notice the clear lens on the powered unit. Let's pull out the dummy. These came as a AA set. And uh, you can see that there's no motor, no lights. Same printed body. Vents on the top number 21 but the dummy diesel has a red lens and that's pretty typical and then it also has a tilt coupler and it's a metal tilt no take that back it's not a tilt coupler just a metal coupler kind of mounts uh, funny all right this set uh, I believe was a 45200 and it came with a 44572 CNO gondola, a 1950 GAEX green boxcar, and a 1951 Santa Fe caboose. Now, what's unique about these cars, they are 316 scale. Uh, but they have the high trucks. They have the high trucks with a style D um, stamp. And uh, you can see this one really lightly stamped. But they're all style D trucks, high trucks. Notice the metal coupler is a tilt coupler, and it's really short. So we'll put these on the track and see how they run. Uh, but first, let's compare the 21 to the Santa Fe um, by Lionel, and also the 1095 marks. So here we go. This is the Santa Fe 21 by Marks, and this is the Santa Fe uh, 1095 by Marks. There's a pretty good size difference. The uh, plastic 1095 comes in at about 11 and three quarters, and the 1021 comes in at about 12 and a half. But the big difference is the width. So this uh, 21 was really a, a 1 48th um, model, whereas the 1095 is, is closer to a 3 16th model. Not quite, but close. Next, let me bring over the 
Lionel Santa Fe. This is a dummy. Very close. The 2343 by Lionel also came out in 1950. A little more expensive than the Marks product. All right, let's give them a run. Okay, we're on the track. Um, the collector books call this the Marks FT AA. And uh, you're used to F3 and F7 and so forth on the EMD units. Well, FT stands for uh, F is 1400 horsepower and T is for twin as they came in pairs which is kind of duplicative since uh, we're already calling it a double A. Also I wanted to show you the height difference of the cars. So a 3 scale car is fairly low and uh, just imagine if this was on scale trucks, just for a, a size comparison. Put the uh, same size car on the track. It's even lower. So you basically have a 148th uh, locomotive in a 3 16th car. So the higher trucks really helped but it's still pretty small and then check out the the width difference yeah, it looks kind of silly but this is how they came as a set so let's take off I hope you enjoyed running the Marks uh, 21 diesels. They came in a freight set and a combo set with the uh, solid window passenger cars, number 3152 and 3197 observation. Hopefully I'll show those in another video. Thanks for watching.